Hello, fellow bookwesters. It is I, Aaron the Bookwester. So today, I have this awesome, the newest book in the Rangers Apprentice, the Royal Rangers series. Dual at a Rowan, sequel to the Royal Ranger and the Red Fox Clan. As always, the main character is Maddie, daughter of Cassandra, Princess Royal, and daughter of Sir Horus. Champion Knight, and she is one of the strongest, most capable rangers, rangers of princesses of them all. Apprentice to Will Treaty, the legend of all rangers. In the Red Fox Clan, the Rangers, Rangers Apprentice, the Royal Ranger, Book Two. Look at the bookquester, and in there, Diamond. Uh, the captain of the royal guard. He decides to rebel, rebel, leading the Red Fox Clan, and uh, observing the true heir, Cassandra. He believes in male succession and thinks females cannot be allowed to become the ruler of the kingdom. And that, sir, was pure evil because Cassandra knew everything about new ruling, and she was quite an exper experienced fighter too. Skilled with the katana taught by Maikeru, a Japanese swordmaster. And she, Cassandra, carries a katana. And in this book, Ranger Maddie has to find the Heron Brother Band, the legendary brother band, which is like a team that has a ship of Scandians. And with the with the help of the Heron Brother Band, they will break Gylon and Horus, who had been led into an ambush and now is holed up in an abandoned fortress. Maddie leads the Scandians into battle, attacking the rear, while Horus and, and his soldiers and Gylon, the ranger commandment himself, comes crashing down on the force of over a hundred red foxes. And they and the Scandians and the cavalry and the and the rest of the small force of attackers they drive away and beat most of the red foxes. And then they be they charge toward the castle of Aralon, where where Cassandra is holed up in a tower that is the point of last de defense. Diamond is trying everything to try to get. Cassandra out from feeble tricks that he's leaving and he is giving up on this fact and so on. And they are and Daimon, he's running out of time because Sir Horus was this big oak sheaf oak leaf buckler and his great Nihon Jan sword is coming charging to destroy him. And when the Scandians and the small force of Varwalans come, he, Diamond absolutely panics. Because Sir Horus is one of the most capable warriors in the world. Alongside with the Ranger Commandment, Gylon, the only one who, the only Ranger that carries a sword. And he's very skilled at it too. He's skilled with the sax, the throwing knife, the sword, and the longbow. That makes him very deadly and a very deadly ranger commandment. And Daimon, she's panicking, but he could hold it in a him for a little while. But Maddie, she knows a secret passageway to get him to the castle, and she uses it to bring 30 Scandians, I mean, no, not 30, the Heron Brother Band, to open the gates of, of, the, of the castle. And she... Maddie is, uh, she has to tell everyone that she's actually a ranger. And, well, they open the gate and Horus charges in with his, with the cavalry, plus a couple Scandians, and they totally plow through the rest of the fo force of red foxes. And Maddie, longbow drawn with the arrow knocked, and Horus, sword drawn, buckler raised, starts to charge after Daimon, who had ran. And Cassandra decides that she has to finish him herself. And drawing her katana, made of special Nihon Jan steel that has a glint of blue in it, she charges at Daimon with the katana ready. And and when she fight when she's fighting 
and just before she fights, Maddie comes with longbow drawn, arrow knocked, and totally deadly arranger. And, and Diamond, who thought that he knew that Maddie, she was really bad shot. And she's just a scared little princess playing with adult weapons. Well, guess what? Maddie is a fully trained ranger. And he has, she has deadly skill with the longbow, deadly skill with the sling that has lead shots in them, mind you. Lead shots that could crash into helmets, dent them, kill the person who's wearing that helmet, and is very deadly. She's, she's excellent with the sax knife, excellent with the throwing knife, and she's one of the deadliest rangers around. And got Diamond, who doesn't know that, he's like, ha oh, ha, what's she gonna do against me? What the? And she has, he has a shield, and she's, and, and, and Maddie says, well, let's get rid of that, shall we? And she shoots with rapid succession, two arrows, and he didn't even see her hands move. And it hit his shield, and it broke through it, so he had to throw his shield and go only with his sword, vs. Katana. And Cassandra finally wins with a left hand stab, one handed, and it slices through his chest. Actually, she has a little bit of a giveaway thing that sometimes she just jerks her head upwards and she stabs in. And she did that, but on purpose, to give Diamond a false sense of superior superiority. And think, Diamond, I got this, she can't kill me. And then the next strike. Without the giveaway knot, she stabbed and it plowed into, Gai into Diamond's chest and they managed to finish Diamond off. And the kingdom of Varalun is restored to its rightful heir, Cassandra, who would become queen when her father, who is the mighty King Duncan, friend, friend of Halt, the great king who had fought Morgoth. And when she success, success, succeeds her father, she'll be a great queen. And this is a great book. And like always, your book quester, or I'm the book quester. Great book, guys, a must read. If you don't read this, I don't know what to call you.